In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how Fancy runs the best trips tight end offense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, maybe you're new, what I do on YouTube is I try to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball every single day in Madden 21. So we post videos every day that are designed to teach you how to get better on both sides of the ball, um, and we post those videos four times a day on YouTube. So if you have not subscribed yet, make sure to click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe, and what I want you to to know about it is if re research shows me that only 40% of the people that are going to watch this video have actually already subscribed to me and so what I just want to encourage you to do is completely free to, uh, to subscribe and if you want to unsubscribe at a later time you can always do that but I would encourage you to go ahead and subscribe that way you don't miss any of these important videos. Now, like I said, Fancy runs the best trips tight end offense that I have seen. Him and J-Wall together are super, super good at it. And it's primarily because they understand the reads. But also, I would say it's because they keep it seriously su super, super, super simple. And they have answers to different things. When you run one offense you're able to see a lot of different looks and you're able to lab it and you're able to basically perfect it. And that's what Fancy has done. We're gonna dive into this because as we prepare for the club championships, I wanna highlight a couple of key things that I think Fancy uh, understands and is going to do at a very, very high level. And you see him running right there, a play that we talked about previously, with uh, with J Wall the curl flat play and the curl flat play is super super effective at a trip set in. Now we're gonna actually be fancy in J Wall. They run it out of the Raiders playbook. I believe the primary reason they do that is for maybe one or two. They either want to do it because they want to run the play X spot or they want to do it because they want to have really good formations to be able to audible down into like pro personnel sets and things like that. So those are both very valid reasons. I'm going to push back a little bit and say I'm going to run Trips Tight End out of the New England playbook. And the reason why I recommend New England is because you have so many other options than just Trips Tight End. You can run Bunch. You can run U-Trips. You can run Split Close. You can run a slot Offset. You still have very, very effective audible down formations. It's just that you now have um, even you know another option for your offense. So... That being said, let's jump into this breakdown. I want you to see this last play that you're going to see right here. Now, as you see, Fancy go up top and get a nice little one-play touchdown, as you see right here. So we're going to jump over here into practice mode, and we're going to talk about the play that you just saw in combination with the curl flat play because I want to show you I do want to cover curl flat a little bit more because there's other things you can do the beauty of curl flat is it's one of the most versatile plays in the entire trips tight end uh, formation so that being said let's go ahead and jump in and I'm gonna be in the nickel 335 defensively I think that's the best coverage um, to use or the best defense to use really when going up against trips tight end so that's what we're gonna roll with and I'm gonna grab uh, cover two man first and foremost now on trips tight end as you see right here where the New England Patriots playbook if you would like to pick up a full ebook by me that breaks down not only the trips tight end but it breaks down every single formation in the New England playbook in my opinion it's the best offense in the entire game you could pick that link up in the description of this video but the play that we're going to we're going to spend uh, a significant time talking about today is we're going to talk about this play PA shot wheel. Now this is not just a man beater. And what you'll notice about these elite Madden players is they have answers for man and for zone in every single play that they run. And what I mean by that is Fancy does a really good job on this specific play that you just saw that if Carry Q were to run cover 2, if he were to run cover 3, whatever the coverage might be, Fancy had answers for that. It's just he also had an answer for if he ran some type of max coverage man look, which we're going to show you exactly what happens. So first and foremost, here's the deal. Here's the setup for the play. What we're going to do is we're going to simply put a slant flat combo here on the field. Something as simple as this right here. All right, a very simple setup. And then we're just going to make sure we smart route Mike Evans. So all we're doing is we're putting the left of screen in or uh, outside slot receiver, which would be Chris Godwin on a slant. The left of screen inside slot receiver, which is Scotty Miller on a flat route. The running back is going to go on a flat route. And then the tight end is going on a post route. Okay. And all we're going to do is we're going to motion Mike Evans over. Now the defense that uh, Kerry Q was employing was basically a cover one max coverage defense right here with a shaded coverage up over top and up. Now what you'll notice here whenever I motion Mike Evans across is 
Jair Alexander does have really good man coverage. So sometimes these double moves work a little bit better. If you have a little bit better route running, you'll see right here, Jair Alexander is able to kind of keep up with Mike Evans. If I were to flip this play, I just, just to show you the fact that the route running is super, super important. Now with Fancy, he's playing, you have to realize, he is playing Madden Ultimate Team. And because he's playing Madden Ultimate Team, Madden Ultimate Team has um, the ability for you to get 90 and, 90 and higher deep route running. So you get better route running uh, all over the field, okay? And you can also still have your ability to do, you know, this kind of stuff right here where you're able to hot route players and things like that. So anyways, all that to say, you're going to see right here Mike Evans motion him over. And you'll see right here, if it's cover two man, um, cover two man would have kind of hung with this, right? Uh, at least a little bit. But at least with that specific route. But what you'll notice here is I'm running cover two man, but I'm going to turn it into a cover zero because I don't think I'm going to get burned over the top, right? Because I'm going to shade coverage up. The problem is these double moves do a really, really good job as long as, and again, this is a big if, as long as your players have a route running advantage or at least 90 route running. If they have 90 route running, they're going to get it. If they don't have 90 route running, then they're going to struggle to get it. But you'll see right here, this is kind of what we're talking about. As, as you see right there, I'm going to be able to get over the top of those curl flats. Now, that was a bad throw by Brady, but you kind of see the uh, the point of the play and the point of what we're trying to accomplish. We're going to be able to get over the top of this man coverage. The beauty of this, and this is where I feel like Fancy does a good job, and even J-Wall does such a good job of this. They both are very elite players. They complete the play. They don't just have this one money route, but they have routes off of it that are going to be super, super effective with the remainder of the play. As you see right here, this thing just torches man coverage as long as Mike Evans can catch the ball. That route will torch man-to-man -to -man coverage, okay? The other thing I want to show you, though, is really everything else that they did on this play. Um, and this is right here. You have these slants, these flats, these combos that are super, super effective. So if he's running man-to-man -man coverage, and let's say he has a safety over the top, what you're going to notice now is this post route late in the play is going to torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. One of the best routes in the entire game against man-to-man -man coverage is pretty much any route to a tight end. This is what makes trips tight end super, super effective because you can not only – I think trips tight end does a really good job of spacing the field, right? But not only does it do a good job of spacing the field, but you're able to do simple things and it's going to make a massive impact. One of the things you'll notice here is if he wanted to, could have hit the running back flat here. Just a quick little flat, little shoot flat to the running back. Those shoot flat routes out of trip side in are so good and so effective um, in my opinion. Now the next thing that you're going to notice here is as we go through our play and we motion everybody over, let's say we had two high safeties. Well, if we have two high safeties now, it's basically this slot right here is going to beat man-to-man -man every single time to the inside. It's always going to get open against man coverage. So you have a slant, you have a post, and you also have this route to uh, to Leonard Fournette. Now, one thing that I would actually see, and I think they actually do this a lot in their typical trip tight end setups, would be to do this right here, would be to put Scotty Miller on a zig. And the reason why I would recommend him putting him on a zig as opposed to a flat is if you notice, whenever I, mo whenever I motion Mike Evans, watch these corners. You see how they're going to flip? See how they're going to move a little bit? That movement might get this guy out. He's not always going to get open, but he might get open once or twice, especially if, and a lot of people do this out of man coverage, okay? A lot of people like to shade coverage up. So if they shade coverage up, one of the things that that's going to leave open for your offense is you're going to then be able to hit these underneath routes a lot of times, especially if you have a good route runner there. Um, if you have someone that can kind of get open in that slot, like a Deion Sanders or something like that, I think it makes a lot of sense to put this guy on a whip route. You see, if they shade coverage up on a whip route, he's typically going to get separation. So that would be one little piece of – one little nugget that I would add to this. But this play is so powerful. And the reason why is not just because it beats man. It's because it also beats zone coverage. A lot of people like to run – one of the most popular zone coverages this year is to run cover three Mabel and basically just user in the middle of the field, right? That's kind of the general – vibe of what people are doing this is a great max coverage defense what you're going to notice with this offense though is cover three is going to do a decent job of taking this route to mike evans away but now you have these underneath little pins and pools that are super super effective you see i can hit that whip route early take about five six seven yards 
The other thing that I can do um, that is really, really good is I can basically, you know, again, just simply work the ball up and down the field. That's really all we're trying to do with this offense. And what you'll notice is these simple little plays right here are going to open up big time. So because we've shaded those purple zones back so deep because we don't want to get crossing routes, you see the tight end is going to come open in the middle of the field. The, the defense is going to have such a handful in their user. They're going to have to user the post. They're going to have to user the the um, the route to the tight end, the route to the slot, the route to, um, you know, to an extent they're going to have to even user the route to Scotty Miller. Um, and I think that's part of what makes this offense so good is there's just so much you have to take away yourself. And if you do it right, you're going to see here, see how we stretch the zones and we have this little low ball slant coming across. So to me – Fancy runs one of the best offenses in the game. This was one of his major setups. One other thing I will talk about briefly here is his curl flat play. Um, and again, I've talked about this at nauseum, but if you want to run a good trips tight end, I think you have to be willing to run this play um, at least 20% of the game. 20% of your play calls should be curl flat. The reason why is because it is such a good change of pace play. It, some people even like it as a base play, right? But it is such a simple and effective play, and there's multiple ways to run it. You can run it with that sim simple flat route over there. You can also run it like this. As you notice here on the right, oftentimes Gronkowski's route, when you smart route it, will beat man-to-man -man coverage as long as you throw it early. So if I if – I, throw this right there on the cut you see he's going to get a nice little separation against man if you have a tight end like a jermichael finley or a Taysom hill and mutt that has over 90 route running it's going to be even more effective so this is how fancy runs the best offense it's one of the best offenses that i've seen all season and this is just one or two of the highlight plays that i think if you put these into practice today you're going to see a big difference in your offense now really quickly i do want to remind you if you would like to get the full ebook for this offense, um, for, for the, not just the trips tied in, but the rest of the New England playbook as well, um, the link is in the description. It's the best offense in Madden. It breaks down not only how you can run trips tied in like these guys, but how some other twists that I'll put on it as well. It also breaks down other formations like ace slot offset, U trip, split close, gun empty ace patriot, which is one of the most slept on formations in the entire game. It breaks down ace close, which is what Kerry was running in this game. So it breaks down everything in the New England playbook and really is going to help you, in my opinion, take your offense to the next level. So if you haven't picked it up yet, the link is in the description. The other thing I want to remind you of is my number is in the top left of the, of the screen. It's also in the description, my cell phone number. So if you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. Also, if you want to get a sample formation of the ebook for free, all you got to do is shoot me a text message and let me know that you want to get a sample, and I'll shoot you a text back and, uh, and hook you up. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something. But that is how Fancy runs what I believe to be one of the best offenses in Madden 21.